Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing. What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? Halloween has officially passed, which means it's time to go full force into the holidays. And no one can say anything about it. Like, for real, the stores are already setting up. So we're gonna do one of my favorite things. Open an entire advent calendar in one sitting. And it's mini brands. Before you start quoting my own words back to me, yes, I did say I wasn't buying any more mini brands. But I want to say I bought this before I said that, so it doesn't um matter. Plus, I was referring to foodie mini brands. Well, then how do you explain this? It was a Walmart exclusive, man. Leave me alone. And I kind of want to open it right now. Think of it as an appetizer for the main course. This is the Foodie Mini Brands Collector's Case. It is a Walmart exclusive and I bought it online for $12 and some change. It comes with five minis and includes three exclusive minis. And I don't even use the collector's case, but I'm here for those three exclusive minis. And you know, this is the only way to get them. So they got me there. It definitely makes me feel some kind of way, but I'm doing this for all of you. So here we are. There's a picture showing you where everything should go. And the five included minis are right there. According to the collector's guide, the collector's case exclusive items will have a purple diamond. I got TGI Friday's shrimp, which is a new one for me, but it is not an exclusive. I got a foot long sub, which is a double. So the three exclusive items must be next. Yeah, we got a bacon egg cheese biscuit from Hardee's. Orange Tango from Hard Rock Cafe. Wait a minute. Orange Tango looks like this. Mango Mania looks like this. This is definitely the Mango Mania. I already had the Orange Tango. Okay, that's weird, but you know, I got another drink. And the last one is Chicken and Spring Onion Gyoza. This one is a new one for me. Being a mini brands collector, I'm glad I have the exclusives. However, I'm not overly excited that I could only get them through the collector's case. And a frozen moment would have been nice. Just saying. But that was just the appetizer. Time for the main course. With 24 minis included. Better not be any doubles. And four exclusive minis inside. Yeah, they got me again. This advent calendar cost me $29.99 and I bought it on Amazon. So let's do the math. One Series 4 capsule is now $7.49 and we're getting five minis. So that's $1.49, $1.50 per mini. 24 minis for $20.99 comes out to be about $1.24, $1.25 per mini. So we are saving about a quarter per mini through the advent calendar. Let's go ahead and open it up. Inside, it looks like a shelf with mini brands and a number. And on the bottom, it says mini brands. Let's get started. All right, number one. We have Hershey syrup. Ooh, the dolls can make hot cocoa. Because of course, we are going to use the mini brands with our dolls. On day two, we get Kool-Aid Burst. I'm guessing that's juice. Y'all have to help me out with that. Contains 0% juice. Day three is gold. Hmm, does that mean something? Is this a special one? Ah, uh, it's candy. Ice breakers, sours, mixed berry. Well, it does a little sparkly thing, so I think that does mean it's special. Day four gives us <laughs> more candy. <laughs> Mentos. Okay. Come on, can we get some cereal? I know you have it. Day five gives us almonds. Blue Diamond Almonds Roasted Salted. I do believe we have quite a few almonds in our grocery store, but at least it's not candy. Day six. 
I'm pretty certain they didn't put any doubles in this advent calendar. So that's pretty awesome. We have gold Hershey's syrup, but we already got Hershey's syrup. Well, I guess since it's gold, it makes it different. But in my eyes, all I see is Hershey's syrup. Day seven. Come on, here we go. Please be cereal. We got hot dogs. These are actually pretty perfect hot dogs for our dolls. So I'm not mad and they'll look great in our grocery store. Number eight or day eight gives us hot sauce. I'm okay with that. Here we have day nine and that is cheese. I am lactose intolerant, but it is a pretty cool looking little mini. So yay. I think we're on day 10, which gives us whipped cream. Okay. Cool whip, whipped topping. Perfect for those dollhouse pies. On day 11, we get, what's this? Ranch, classic ranch salad dressing. It would be really nice if we got a frozen moment mini up in here. And here's the collector's guide and golden Pringles. And it was behind a golden number. So yeah, it would be so cool if there were a bunch of holiday themed items because you know, it's an advent calendar. Mike and Ike, Mega Mix, candy. And that was a golden number. So I guess it doesn't have anything to do with it. But yeah, back to my wish, winter theme. That would have been nice. And here we get hot tamales. More candy. I believe we have this. Yeah. Number 15 gives us a giant seasoning. Apple pie spice. Okay, I can believe that this is, you know, wintertime related. Who doesn't love the smell of a apple pie baking on a cold night? Number 16. We go through these a lot faster when we don't have to open like the little plastic things. Jeez. Baby Bell, which is actually giant for the dolls. Golden number 17 gives us candy. <laughs> Hershey's Special Dark. Yep. I'm feeling like this will be a great advent calendar to, you know, someone who is new to mini brands. Oh, wait a minute. Let's take that back. I mean, it would still be good for a new collector, but that is lipstick. I want that. It is Revlon. We can see it at the top, but it is a little oversized for one six scale. Am I still going to use it in the dollhouse? Yes. Yes, I am. <gasps> I skipped 18. Okay, we can correct that mistake real fast and open day 18, which is, yes! It's a spray bottle, a cleaning product for cars. This is cool. I don't have this. Very happy. And to think I almost skipped 18. Man, day 20, we get mustard. I like these. I feel like they look great on the shelves. Perfect for a doll outdoor barbecue. You know, we could pair it with those hot dogs. And we're on day 21, which is guacamole. I actually really, really love guacamole. Holy guacamole, classic. You know, the container actually kind of looks like Tupperware if you removed the label if you are willing to pull your minis apart. Now here we have day 22 and we've got collagen creamer. I believe this is a double for me as well. 23 gives us ooh, a cleaning product. Yes, OxyClean laundry detergent. So far, these two are my favorites and they are perfectly sized for the dolls. And for the grand finale, 24, we have uh, a golden icy. Yay! 
To be honest, I like them better when they are realistic colors because we use them in the dollhouse. We ended up with three golden minis and one metallic. But these two are still my favorites. <gasps> yeah! The Barbie Cuter Reveal Tiger finally arrived! Better late than never, right? Okay, here is the tiger! Like the other costumes in this collection, the tiger has a two-tone outfit. It is pink and orange and comes with four mystery bags that we can put under the tree and wait till Christmas. Yeah, right. We're opening it now. And in the first one we have, looks like some shoes, a pair of orange boots and pink sunglasses. In the next bag we have, a skirt. Very Lisa Frank. It's a rainbow animal print. I currently don't have an occasion to wear that, but if one ever comes along, I'm ready. And here we have a comb with a sponge for water play. And the last one gives us a tiger pet, which looks like a stuffed animal. The eyes are open and if we warm it up, they close. The tiger has orange and pink paw gloves, orange and pink feet, which I like to pretend are house shoes. Our little tiger has stars in its eyes. And when we remove the mask, we have a lot of makeup. With a little warmth, I think we can tone down the makeup. There we go. All right. So that blue eyeshadow is not permanent. It does go away. What about the lipstick? Oh, well, it gets, it gets softer. So with the little sponge and cold and warm water, we can control how much makeup the doll has. She does have little star shines on her lips and her face looks like the same mold as this Barbie fashionista. I could be wrong, but I think it is. She has long brown hair with black stripe and pink. Let's remove the jacket. She has orange sculpted undergarments and the jacket goes from a tiger print to large colorful stripes. Here she is out of costume. Her hair feels pretty nice. Just once again, I would like to see that lip shine toned down just a little. Let's see, what else do we have around here? How about Disney Durables? This is the birthday countdown calendar for series eight. I mean, it's pretty much an advent calendar, right? With 14 figures and two exclusive figures. I paid $21.99 on Amazon. Oh, I can never open these right. So if we do the math, that's $1.57 per figure. At Target, I got a Mini Peak Series 8 for $4.59, and it has two to three figures. So if you're lucky and get three, that's $1.53 per figure or $2.29 if you only get two. So how much am I paying today? Are we getting two? We got two. <laughs> so these are $2 and some change each. Did we get turning red? Turning red? No, we got Tinkerbell, but that's a, that's a good one. I don't have that. And one more chance for turning red. It's Randall. Starting at one on this birthday countdown. And the first one we get one bag and the collector's guide. I still have two fairies I haven't found yet. And I need turning red. So here we have, are you kidding me? We got the panda, best Christmas ever. Opening day number two. All we need now is May for the one that I lost. And this is Candlehead. There must be like a billion of these. I get one almost every time. Day three gives us, I do like that they go in order. Here we have Ultra Rare Phil. Day four gives us anything from Turning Red. I'll take Baymax too. 
Ah, uh, a double. Ultra rare, Celia. She can't be that rare. Day five. Since we keep getting Monsters, Inc., I wouldn't mind Mike or Sully. She is supposed to be scented and supposed to smell like an apple. It smells more like Play-Doh to me. Day six is... Baby Moana. Also a double. I am going to need another shelf, though. <laughs> but that is a job for another day. Because today we're too busy opening door balls. Ooh, special edition Minnie Mouse. And she's supposed to smell like cake. Doubles over here, new ones over there. I think this is a fun idea. Two weeks before your birthday, or use it as an advent calendar during the holidays. And your double. It's all fun and games until you get a double. Day nine. Come on, we need May. If I could only find the one I lost. Really? My luck is changing, folks. Here is May. I only need two more, and then I have all the turning red figures. Come on, lucky number 10. Just joking, but that would be awesome. That would be so cool. Uh, if I could just open this, there we go. Instead, that looks like a double. That looks like boo. Oh my goodness. I think that's a triple. Only four to go. Turning red, turning red, turning red. Tinkerbell. <laughs> we just got this one today. Down to the final three. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. Uh, baby Tiana, <laughs> you're, you're a double. You're a double. Well, I guess we can make some matching earrings, right? That's what you can do with doubles, make jewelry. But then I would actually need triples cause I would want to keep one on the shelf and then make jewelry with the other ones. Uh, is this another double? No, this is Tweedledee. I had Tweedledum. So now we have a pair. And our very last one is, can we get a drum roll? No? Oh. Okay, it is Mickey holding a present. As a person who dabbles in collecting durables, I ended up with half doubles, but I got my panda and May, so I'm happy. In our last Disney Dorables video, we made little Funko Pop inspired boxes. I was reading the comments and you all were wondering if there was a way that we could customize them a little more to show the character that's inside. And that got me thinking, yeah, I printed out our printable and cut it out, fold on the lines, cut out the window, cut out one of the characters from the collector's guide and glue it onto the box right over the little frog. A symbol? Just like before, add clear plastic from packaging to make a custom miniature Funko Pop inspired box for our adorables. And of course, if you have more than one collector's guide, you can add a picture to both sides. I'm starting with the doubles. So there you have it, the mini brands advent calendar and the adorables birthday countdown. I think both are great options for new collectors. However, seasoned collectors will end up with a few doubles. With many brands, these three are the advent calendar exclusives, and these two are the durable exclusives. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at more advent calendars. Let us know in the comments down below which one you would like for us to check out next. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye.